we're going to be making a vase. So we're going to choose shapes from the create panel and splines from the category and we'll use the line tool. We're going to use the front view for this so we highlight it, pan around in it to activate it, maximize it, pan down a little bit. We're going to turn on the or at least make sure the grid points are the active snap and then we'll turn on the snap by hitting S on the keyboard or clicking the jump button and we can see the snap marker. We're going to drag out the bottom of the vase to um, not dragging it out but just clicking on the end to make a corner point and then dragging the second point so it's curved and then we'll click and drag another point for the base of the vase and then another point for a nice curved neck and then the final point to this is the only thing that we'll need to draw for the profile of it now I want to add a lathe modifier to this line that's under the modifier panel uh, list and we can choose the lathe now the lathe modifier won't choose the correct location for this for the um, vase, but it does choose the right vertical axis. So all I got to do is click on the minimum, and that puts it to the far left of that shape, and that way it'll make the the vase. And I can go back and edit, and turn off the snap, and edit some of the vertices if I need to. If I don't like the shape of the vase or something. Anyway, uh, vertices allow me to uh, shape the end result uh, once I have the basic shape in there. So you can make the neck a little thinner and change the body and maybe the top vertex a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I can also edit the interpolation that smooths out the curvature of the vase so it'll give a nice smooth surface when we're lathed. Notice that the, uh, the I have more edges where there's more curvature and that's what the adaptive check mark does on that interpolation rollout of the, of the line. <clears throat> I can also increase the number of segments to make the, the smoothness of the vase uh, around the circumference of it to be more fine. Okay, so now I look at the vase and I can see right through it um, where the faces are looking away from me or pointing away. I, I, you know, I won't be able to see it and that's because the vase is infinitely thin. So one way to fix that would be to go back to the line, uh, um, the spline sub-object of that line and do give it a little bit of outline thickness and that's the outline tool a little bit further down in the, in the um, modifier panel. Get out of some object mode and get back to the vase and there I can see now both the inside and the outside of the vase. And I've also welded the core, check that setting so that I can weld all those vertices that end up coming together on that. So that's uh, the end result of